Hello everyone, welcome to another homebrew update. I'm your host Troy and we do have some great news to talk about starting on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation Vita, and the PlayStation 3. Let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Starting on the Nintendo Switch, we have a new overclock homebrew application. This overclocking application lets you overclock certain applications that way Say if you need a game that needs to be overclocked to run better, you can. Or if you need something to be underclocked to save your battery power, you can. This homebrew application is called SysClock and I will put links in the description below so you all can get it. Skipping over the PlayStation Beta for now, I am going to jump over onto the PlayStation 3 because we do have a new official firmware. It is official firmware 4.84. And as far as we know, it does not block any of the exploits that we need. As you do know, firmware 4.83 did block a lot of the stuff that was used for firmware 4.82, but on 8.3 and 8.4, the new hack that Team Exploit is working on still works. This exploit is for apparently it's called Store Hacks. I don't know much about it, but it seems like it does something with the PlayStation Store, something I don't know but it still does work on the newest firmware. As far as release date goes for the store hacks, we do not know, but as always, I'll keep you updated. Now moving on to the PlayStation Vita, we do have a new application from The Flow. It was actually teased a couple weeks ago, but I wasn't able to make a video about it, but I'm making a video about now of it being released. This new homebrew is called Motoro, and this means to go back in Japanese, which means this homebrew application is a downgrader. Yes, you can finally downgrade your system to whatever firmware you want, which is amazing, but it's not recommended to downgrade to whatever firmware you want. It's mainly meant to, for the people who are on say 3.69 and 3.68 to go down to 3.65 or 3.60. I would recommend 3.60 because that tends to be the better of the firmwares for homebrew. For the people on 3.70 or 3.69 or 3.68, with the newer Vitas, I'm sorry, you won't be able to use this downgrader because you can only downgrade to whatever your system actually allows. So for the people who have the newer Vitas, kind of out of luck. You gotta stick with what you've got right now. But for the people who are on 3.70, we do have some great news. Team XYZ has teased a little bit of a homebrew that actually exploits 3.70. I should have started off with that, I guess. It's an exploit for 3.70. Now, as far as it goes, we do not know how it works or when it will be released, but at least there's hope for everyone who is on 3.70 and or above. Oh, and also speaking of the downgrade, one thing I forgot to mention is make sure you read the README file because there's a lot of information on there that you need before you do it, such as turning off different things, making sure you don't have things installed, because it can break your system when you are downgrading if you have that certain things done. So follow the instructions of the README and everything should be good. I do not want to see systems breaking when you're trying to downgrade. That's never fun. All right, guys, and that is it with this homebrew update. I hope you really do enjoy all the stuff that has come up. I know it was short and sweet and yeah, I mean, it's good. We got some great things out of it. For all those people who do want to try and downgrade, please tell me in the comment below if you are able to do it because I'm curious. I myself have a 3.60 firmware Vita, so I can't downgrade. It's pointless for me to, so there's, yeah, there's no point. So I do want to know who all is able to do it. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope you do hit that select and subscribe button as well as that little bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that, guys, I shall see you next video.